Hey everyone, this is Dago Suniga. I'm out here in beautiful Belize, San Pedro, Belize. Just got back from doing an extraordinary, amazing scuba dive. Was around huge turtles, sharks, uh, all these different type of tropical fish. One of the most amazing experiences. But I, I wanted to share with you guys a message. Uh, we're back here at the villa, beachfront, and I wanted to talk to you about three different types of leaders that exist. And so stay tuned and I'm going to talk to you about exactly those three different types of leaders. Alright, so welcome back. So here's the three different types of leaders that you're going to find. And it's across the board. It's not just in, different, in the difference business, but it's literally across the board. There's three different types of leaders. The first type of leader are people that know that they are winners. There are people who are frustrated and scared every single day. They want to quit every day. They hurt, they cry, they bleed, they worry every single day. They're just like you and I, they're like everyone else. That's, that's it's exactly the same way. We're all human beings, right? But that type of leader, that number one, that first type of leader, know that they are winners. But the winners are obsessed they're crazy, they're nuts, they're completely obsessed. It's almost borderline nuts, right? They're super obsessed. They're like madmen or mad women. <laughs> In spite of all their frustrations and fears, they go out every single day and they get after it. They fight for their dreams. They're obsessed about it. They don't let an hour go by where they're not doing something towards their business or doing something so they could get closer to that or closer to their success or their dreams. So every single day they're going out there so that they could win. And those people are winners. The second type of leader are, win are leaders that have potential to be winners. And these type of folks, you know, they, all they need, to have, they need to have is a chance to win, right? They want to be someone so bad, they're waiting to be discovered. Maybe they're at their job and they're sick and tired of it, they're frustrated. They don't know that there's a different opportunity out there. They're just burning to be their hero for their children, for their family, for their spouse. They want to do something big in their life. It's that feeling they've always had, but they're just kind of, they just feel like they're stuck and they can't promote anymore. And, but these type of folks, they just need a chance, right, to be winners. They wake up every single day, again, just like the winner does. They wake up every day, they're frustrated, they're scared, they're worried, just like the winner is, but they don't go out and compete, primarily because Here's why. Primarily because they don't know what to do. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? They just don't know what to do, right? They don't have the vehicle. They don't know where to start. They don't know what it is. They don't have that idea, or maybe they just don't have the right vehicle. Uh, or plain and simple, maybe they get involved in our business. They have a ton of potential. They have everything it takes to be a winner, but they just don't know what to do. And then lastly, the last type of, out of the three types of leaders I want to talk to you about today, the last one are leaders that are losers. <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy, right? Leaders that are losers. Losers. These are people that wake up every single day. They have the same doubts, the same fears as the winners and the potential winners do. Uh, they have the same worries that the winners do and the potential winners do as well. All right? They have the exact same things. They almost look the same from the outside. They are human beings just like everyone else. Exactly the same, just like you and I. But they don't work or compete. They really just don't. They don't get up and do the things that they need to do to make it happen. They don't get up and really dive into our business and completely sell out to our system. They don't do the steps that are necessary, right? They try to take shortcuts. Uh, they say they're doing things, but they're not really doing anything. They can't believe in anything or anyone, especially themselves. Really, it's almost like they lack belief in themselves. It's that self-doubt. They self-sabotage themselves. And these people want something for nothing. Have you ever been around people like that? They're give me, give me, give me, but they don't want to do anything for it. They say they want to start up here, but they really haven't done anything to deserve it, right? They want something for nothing. So they don't, they strict, they really literally don't have a chance, in my opinion. But those are the three types of leaders that exist. There's leaders that are winners. There's leaders that are potential winners. And then there's just flat out losers. In my opinion, we're looking for leaders in our business. Imagine if you sat around waiting around for losers to try to become winners. <laughs> you know, you could have a bunch of potentials right now in your business, but maybe you're just not working with them. You're not giving them direction. You're not sharing with them the steps that are necessary. Uh, 
and maybe yourself you're a winner and you're going out there every single day but you got to make sure that you're every single day fine-tuning your business always looking at the last hour looking at the last couple of days the last couple of weeks the last year always making sure that you're progressing you're getting closer to that your goal setting uh, you're working with your teammates you're constantly communicating with them you're constantly out in the field 90 percent of your time is spent with your new folks you're teaching them the finer points of our business but those are the three types of leaders so now you got to make a check of where you feel that you fit in sometimes maybe you need to go up to your upline leadership and ask them where do you think I fall in <laughs> in these I want to be a winner what do I need to do exactly to make things happen now when your mentor tells you exactly what to do if I'm your mentor for instance then I expect you to do those things a mentor expects you to do those things and if you don't do those guess what they're not gonna work with you because that means that you're not serious about you winning in your life so just wanted to share with you that message three types of leaders just go after it make things happen in your life and compete and win